We want to check the convergence. Divergence of the following series. The series that we have is the summation n to power n divided by n factorial. n starts from 1, it goes to infinity. Well, should we use a ratio test or root test? The ratio test, basically you find the limit of absolute value of a n plus 1 divided by a n as n goes to infinity. And for the root test, you are finding the limit of the nth root of absolute value of a n as n goes to infinity equals to L, but the results are the same. If L is more is less than one, you have a convergent series for both cases. If L is equal to one, it's inconclusive, does not work, and if L is more than one, you have a divergent series. So for this one, you can use the root test or you can use the ratio test. Let us apply ratio test now. Let us apply ratio test. So we are interested in finding the limit of the absolute value of a n plus 1 divided by a n as n goes to infinity. But what is our a n? It's n to power n plus 1 divided by n factorial. So you have the limit of, very good, here you have n plus 1 to power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 factorial over on the denominator you have a n which is n to power n divided by n factorial so let us simplify this guy and then find the limit everything is inside the absolute value so this guy can be written as the limit of absolute value of well, everything is positive, so we are not really worried about the absolute value sign. We have n factorial times n plus 1 to power n plus 1 divided by n to power n times n plus 1 factorial, then take the limit as n goes to infinity. This is equal to the limit of, we can simplify this further. Here you have n factorial you have n plus 1 to power n times n plus 1 divided by n to power n times n factorial can be broken down into n plus 1 times n factorial. Here we go. So we broke all of these down into smaller pieces so we can get rid of anything that is common factor. For example, here you can cancel out n factorial and n factorial. What you get? You get the limit of n plus 1 to power n times n plus 1 divided by n to power n as n goes to infinity. Perfect. So let's see what we can do. What else is there that help us to break this guy down into smaller pieces? If I combine these together, what do I have? And let me see, did I cancel out? Oh, I forgot to cancel out this guy. Let me move this a little bit closer and to the end. Here you could cancel out these two. I forgot to cancel these two out. So now if you take the common power between these two, 
this is the limit of I'm writing one sets of parentheses n plus one divided by n to power n as n goes to infinity, which in terms can be written as limit of one plus one over n to power n as n goes to infinity. And as you remember, this limit is nothing but e or Napier number. This limit is e or Napier number. But remember that what was e? As you remember, e can be approximated by 2.71, 82, and so on. This is your L, everybody. Let's go back to the ratio test. In the ratio test, when you find L, and if L is more than 1, it means that you have a divergent series. So you're going to say that since, since L, it has a limit. There is no doubt there. But since L is E, or approximately 2.7182, is more than 1 by the ratio test, the series is divergent. So let us recap it for you quickly. Here we have the series n to power n divided by n factorial. We can apply ratio test here. Ratio test says find the limit of the absolute value of a n plus 1 divided by a n as n goes to infinity. If the limit is equal to L, you have three cases, three scenarios. If L is less than 1, you have a convergent series. If L is equal to 1, this test doesn't work. If L is more than 1, you have a divergent series. So we decided to apply the ratio test here. For the ratio test, you have the limit of n plus 1 to power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 factorial. And on the denominator, you have n to the n over n factorial, n goes to infinity. When you simplify this, we're basically multiplying n plus 1 to power n plus 1 by n factorial. It is your new numerator. And then n to the n times n plus 1 factorial, which is your new denominator. Remember the definition of n plus 1 factorial. n plus 1 factorial is n plus 1 times n factorial. On the numerator, we can break n plus 1 to power n plus 1 into the multiplication of two terms, n plus 1 to the n, times n plus 1 to the first. Now we can get rid of all common factors. You end up with n plus 1 to power n divided by n to the n as n goes to infinity, which is nothing but the limit of, if you combine all of these together, you have n plus 1 divided by n, which is n over n, or 1 plus 1 over n all raised to power n. But this limit is equal to Napier number. This is what we learned in elementary calculus. So L is Napier number, 2.7182 and so on. Since L is more than one by the ratio test, this series is a divergent series. This is our ratio test and classifying the series based on the value of L.